Hey mama, if you have been following along this week, we are talking about massaging the growing child. So if you have a toddler or preschooler and you don't know if you can massage them or if it's too late or if you can stop after you've massaged your infant, um, I wanna tell you that it is still important and really critical to do that with the growing child. And so I wanna share four tips on how you can do that. But massage is just as beneficial for your growing child because they're experiencing a lot of um, growing pains and um, emotional struggles with toddler tantrums and other stress and emotion in our current day society. So massage offers that bonding opportunity for mom, dad, um, grandparent um, with the child as well as relief of physical um, and emotional pains. And so I have four tips today to share with you. The first, to massage a growing child, you want to change positions. And so with the baby, it's very natural to have them laying down um, in their diaper and massaging them. With their growing child, of course, that is not possible um, unless it's during bedtime. So you can massage your baby sitting up in your lap during bath time, story time, um, and just incorporate the strokes during those moments of back massage or head massage or leg massage um, and use the same cues that you've established. So it's whether it's music or a word um, or the rubbing of your hands and the oil, those are going to continue to be the cues for baby or your child that massage is coming. The second is to incorporate a toy. So you can give them something in their hand that can distract them, that can entertain them while you're massaging them. Those puppets you'll see in the next video are great because it keeps them still but occupied um, and you can massage them while they're playing. The third is to incorporate nursery rhymes or songs. Um, if you don't know any, that's fine. Um, use the songs that you know and make them into actions um, on their back or on their head. Um, on their arms and that way they can both hear you sing as well as receive the massage. And the fourth tip is to um, change the pressure. So with a baby you might provide a little bit lighter touch than you would a toddler or preschooler. So you can apply more pressure which will really take some of that pain of, of growing, um, teething, all the things that our little ones experience. So as I said, massage is just as important for the growing child. The what doesn't change, our strokes that we teach are the same for whether it's a two week old or two year old, but the context and the how, in terms of how you massage them, will change. And so you might have to be a little creative and flexible and adaptable, but uh, massaging the growing child is just as important as massaging the infant. So if you were not able to massage your baby, it's not too late, you can start a lifestyle of massage in your family at any time um, and both you and your baby will benefit so keep calm and massage your baby and happy massaging